guys what's up guys uh mindful moments podcast episode four, four. Uh, today is a special day it's they call me ban gatu uh, I'm joined by my co-host. One boy at and I told you when you introduced me, Finnish. It is it. Finnish. I am joined by Finnish. Hey, hey, brother. Don't have to tell everyone. Finnish. Keep it on the download. Hey, hey, so, yeah. Yeah. And I am your humble visitor for the day. Me na itwakai, maso ni itakai. But my government name is Nikene Kirungu. This is my beloved cousin, not mm-hmm. brother. Can you be clear? Yeah, there yeah. Very many places to Nenda wanna go. So it's... please, cousins. Yeah. But of course, brothers with mm. Matokafa. And um, yeah. We are, I mean I'm, I'm very humble to be on your set. Humble? Yeah, very humble, Mazi. Like Nakumuka Malulianzia, bro. And now that I'm seeing a plethora of equipment yeah. man, mm. this is what growth is all about man yeah. Yeah. good yeah. good at least yeah. yeah. so yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. i could do say at least for so i in media yeah yeah Bring yeah. big things Mazi. keep it going keep it going Mazi. yeah lakini mimi beef yangu ni yangu nipea chupa Oh, chupa. Eh, yeah, each chupa yenye mazee branded, mazee ko fiti. Mazee me have been left with you know at mazee aso many issues. Kuna fatu tengeneza ya mind. Kuna fanyo ni hii kikombe ati ni kikombe ya yellow. Kuna mimi ni mshama na buve side ni ya blue. Mazee I'm like <laughs> but it's a fire cup man. I love the cup. Yeah. For the guests. I really love the cup. Um well yango haina brand but you uh, sasa unajua tuko tumshonge history bro. I need to get these bottles. What what can guys do to get the bottles? I was yeah, like so. a black one because I'm black, I'm so I don't know, Maze, tell us about it because me, I'm, I'm feeling this. We yeah. definitely had one to go with one, Maze. So, I say one is a duo. Oh, one bottle is 1,000. Uh-huh. Uh, so, in a different type of attacker, you just send the same. Yeah, yeah, same. same. Uh, the part of the uh, just, just uh, the top part is what uh, differentiates it. Wow, 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 Mm-hmm. Yeah. So um, today we're talking about uh, Uber experiences, Uber clinicals, and with the Uber specialists, the logistics specialists, <laughs> the guy himself, Kai himself, <laughs> Kai himself, <laughs> yeah. the way he... Kai Matic. This is what they call me on the streets. Yeah. Lakini unjo kini tevo na kulenga. Kai tu inatosha keno teva. But Nashkuru um, Mazi, yeah. yeah, so they, I, I left out the part of what I do. You do the logistics, um, transport, uh, other event planning, and so forth. So, thanks to my life experience, I've had a lot of uh, opportunities. So, we've been able to do events, corporate events, um, even how do you call them, family events. Yeah. Uh, so Jay Kelele Mingi was able to work on the force. Niko MC Maringine, but again, like I said, I'm a very shy person. Most people assume I'm not shy because I talk a lot, but please note there's a difference between being shy and being, 
yap yap mm. for me ni yap yap mazi but eh, mc pia ukinipose na dopoa naweza ifanya but my my night tonight because i don't work during the day my night tonight is uber so i am an uber driver i've had the fortune of ku on uber alafu pia kuna inside ya madereva when you wanna gari sometimes you do that as well so i think i am i mean i was brought in was in the minion na rusha na hizo maswali za oh why are both guys bad why are uber guys nice Yeah. Ni kabili Kenya. So maze hizi zote I hope I'll be able to add some insight. Eh hey, na tuendele. I mean let's say ladies first. I mean uh, I don't know sijiko umekuwa na a good experience ama bad, yeah, bad experience. experience. Well, sijakuwa na an extreme bad experience when you know na vitu zina happen. Mm-hmm. Spoke to just recently we used a cab, a cab. Mm-hmm. And then si kuna ile discount mmepewa uh-huh. but then you have already left mshafika katikati na kwa like ah na naona mmelipa alitumbiaje tumelipishwa hmm. kama malenge kama malenge and it's a lady i'm like yo oh it was a lady driver hey. i'm like hey manze full amount so like it's okay it's just 100 yes mm. just be gentle yeah just just ask nicely yeah oh. ask nicely was a lady yeah. yeah i've actually never had the fortune of being carried by a lady but driver True. i mean I, I, you'd think i know a few lady drivers mm-hmm. but i've actually never experienced one like inside the cab mm-hmm. um where so that was i've always assumed lady drivers are better than male drivers in terms of experience like how they'll treat you ama mm. of course they could be bags Of course eh alafu maze tena chali yako akiwa msupa maze inaweza kwa ngori na pita na kwambia just wait wait stay in the car bitch stay in the car wait wait but i mean my general assumption has always been ladies are better for the treatment and customer care and this kind of thing so wow yeah wow that is a nice mm. so mlifika mkalipa tulilipa hata nikilipa Unaona tu anakupea ile ki anaend mm, trip mapema. Eh kuna kiburi tu eh mm. amend trip anachukua nyingine anawataka hata hajawafikisha kwa ile gate kunafaa kwenda mm. na niko na client. Mwanza kushuka kama Shuka. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 Like we, we understand times are not easy for for most guys mm. but also you're not going through that alone. I know. You know it's yeah, not only affecting you alone you know so like uki behave vivo hata mimi mwenyewe niko like eh Mazi okay, so, yeah, okay um let me peel back the curtain so on the on the, on the driver's end most of the time tunakwanga na i only say in terms of preconceived notions so kuna venye to be honest kama me on my phone I have like i don't know around 5000 apps joking in me i don't know but there are many there are so many so of course mainstream what everyone will talk about is even when you know when guys say you're ordering a car you're mm. calling a an uber yeah. so even when it's been by the I I'll oh, honestly yeah. give yeah. credit to bolt for the marketing campaign so far because they really close the gap from uber mm. unakumbuka kitambo ukiwa na simu ilikuwa napiga na safari call oh yeah, yeah. yeah. it was extremely rare for you to say i'm calling it haya kitia kwanza alianza akiitwa cancel no i don't own it please guys i don't own it he said it cancel don't blink and say yeah. then eh uh, sell tell sell tell so, so one of the things that you, you you really struggle with is the first guy to enter the market always was, was how do we dominate so yeah. come they got in and you know things went as they did but for now how airtel works i mean zain whatever sasa inaitwa i think airtel yeah, 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 yeah. and so when you want to change names i think along the way of course they lost the race mm. to safcom of course the government then mm. went and bought shares mm. on the phone few stories out so in my book i really want to comment both only on the marketing side because mm-hmm. the marketing has been brilliant like for them to push marketing to the extent you can almost say i'm calling a boy kitambo it was always i'm, I'm taking a uber over yeah and yeah. yeah. i call me it's just gani hata he exists i am taking taking an uber home mm. so both of my push side the marketing but these other apps so there's little cab little cab is 
one of the few local ones that exist yeah. then kuna yego eh wala watu wanajua Calligraph Jones yeah yego eh yeah. yeah, so kuna hiyo yego juzi kuna nyingine manvile wa sijui inaitwa Faras Faras yeah. Yeah. yeah so the local labs in a try to mm. come through um yeah but the issue will remain the same so there's about pricing mm. so pricing is what is causing a lot of issues for for drivers um apps zinachukua do yao so this is the commission thing when we hear these guys talk about commission apps zinachukua commission yao which is depending on the company they were supposed to cap it at 18% as per the government directive mm. but uh, we have cases here and there and i think it's widespread but pia wasio naweza sema huko kwa comments au kweni uba driver naweza sema kwa comments kwa any passengers as you had mm. just put in the comments your experiences yeah. but i've had guys say that they're charging higher mm. so definitely that's part of the problem so they're mm. charging higher commission a lot of people say mafuta imepanda na is it 16 shillings or 10 shillings so yeah. the price per kilometer still that's remains the same yeah. so if the guy was fueling like i, I remember that time for covid it was around 130 something mm. and i bundled to got my complaint mm. your time on a fuel like get like 6 7 liters but then now when you fuel that's a thousand that's a thousand, fuel a thousand bob it's four point something yeah it's, like it's can't huge. take you far yeah. it's a huge difference mm. so there's been a long standing frustration with the companies and the drivers mm. now that's part of where the the anger now with clients come mm. so most guys when they come to the airport even if they are foreigners atakuwa na uber or bolt on the mm. phone mm. if they have the option of lift lift is american so, yeah, so but can't. we don't have it yeah. here yeah. Uh, so msa attack if immediately if they don't know how to get a cab the passenger mm. is uber yeah uber mm. so now of course as the market has grown the same if can price was so mm. uber in asema eh maze sit kipita maybe like 30 per 30 shillings per kilometer our clients won't want to use us mm. but uh, you know now that ends up hurting the driver so yeah. the driver is now trapped in the middle mm. like i need to work to make money but at the same time uh these guys have said not to increase prices so mm. even right now they've not added prices since the the fuel the increase pro, yeah. Yeah. No, 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 the jump was big was around 20 shillings 16 shillings depending on what car you're using so that's part of where the problem lies mm. so now on a client akin ya gari yes they are innocent akona offer it's not their fault kona kwetu ake but actually that's the, generally the problem then you know i'm saying akiru dishu a place ali tolewa cuz ya hiyo nini ya hiyo offer for real eh yeah. and it was a lady again by the way kula manyanya yo bro why you guys meet yeah. these ladies yeah. bana ale <laughs> price ale ambio eh hey, bana mimi 350 stuck dogo hey, bana <laughs> Do how many so such do how many kilometers did it mm. the lady was so furious and it turned the, the car around a camrodusha tip pale la litoka but she she ended up paying twice yeah twice eh hey, oh, sabi eh hey. cuz the lady was okay. going somewhere now and rush up as in what was the point maze ladies lady uber drivers <laughs> what <laughs> maze i know a few I, if, if, if i knew the issues are this serious i would have brought one of them but <laughs> maze was our uber crew i'm checking you out i have a few ladies in mind we are going to bring you on the show because man i didn't by the, honestly in all my life i have mm. never gotten a lady like even once mm. I've never gotten a lady Uber driver like seriously me ni king kwanza naingia hapo ah brother form nini nini hata kan kukata maji mnakata you know like yeah. so iko fit but I've never gotten a lady driver mm. ah man so ni wazi ama itawayaki we thing Isn't, she was not even from Moyaki. Yeah, she was not yeah, she was not from South B. South B. We maze sisi wa Swaziland maze We believe our customer service for top. Eh? Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah. Okay, Miss Jessica. But Jessica, I have a question. Yes, yeah. Kwa when you mesema trip ina kuonyesha ni 1000 and mm-hmm. then on my end ni kuna discount. Are you guys able to see how much it will be sure? Okay, so what usually happens depending on the app. Um like let's say for Volt. For Volt I'll see the price beforehand. Okay. So like when the screen grab comes eh uh abi okay ban is a trauma burn media the way you maze ako pale ametoka let's say my dig eh uh, my dig <laughs> by the quite literally 
Mimi natakuja ukipin location inaleta ngajina ule msi ameeka ama ni aje. Hebu niambieni. My dig. Cuz mimi nimeeka location hapa hivi mazee imekuja na niambia my dig. I'm like what? It's not my dig, it's his dig. Anyway, mazee but uh, yeah, so it's a my digs to you know uh, Kempinski mm. asema 1000. Mm. So when I see as the driver I see 1000. Then when you start the trip we, we go to Nakwa campaigns to drive up the ramp. You were expecting a G. Boing. 600. 200. Nasema kwa ya shingo wait. Sio 1000. Then like kuna kuna discount ya 400. Like maze hata wao mseka anaenda kuweka fuel. Unajua ukienda kuweka fuel hakuna discount. Eh hakuna discount. Kuna ya Golden, you know, kwa kitu maze hakuna discount. Then na yeye maze unajua ni ngori maze. Lazima mshoe. Kabla ipike ama tunadanganya oh, so you can imagine after all that the guy was expecting a G then he gets 600 so yeah the guys who struggle na yeah. your reality so unapata client and receive the anger mm. but actually it's not the fault of the client so me I always say guys honestly this is the the one of the few things i can tell you ukisikia a driver has asked you hopefully on chat or on call whatever they ask you tunaenda wapi ime charge how much that thing is not personal our kuchunguzi honestly it's just that thing for preparing if i know i'm getting a g from this trip and i don't get a g i'm like yo mm, what's, what's going to happen yeah. you know so niyo wewe kuuliza just try and have a conversation you're both you're both grown ups you're both hustling you know things are hard for everyone not just yeah. for the client actually yeah. because yeah. you know when a client akipo a discount ni kampuni na try ku mtetea yeah but uh, pia also na try kuona nani anatetea dere yeah. 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 so that's where the issue comes in and if the guy asks you just have a response well wase wa yake we if the lady asks you eh where jibu tu maze Wasiseme yeah. oh kwani yako change my husband nini 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 Namuona mangu Wasema mbe mazi Wewe Sasa now forty bob difference juu 50 bob ai manze No you know what they say Uh, haba na haba ujaza kibaba, kibaba. Yeah. so if you think of it losing 80 50 100 mm, per day mm. like and then maybe they do 20 30 trips a day that's quite that's a lot of money wait yeah. kuna mbe ya cash anasema please mnitumie tafadhali mm. sasa kusema kweli cash lakini for me that one i blame on covid ah, oh. ever since covid most guys and Wait. now we've kind of got a new street most mm. guys have gotten the point of cashless payment mm. system mm. so they either have a card or nile mpesa So mbona anakata pesa? No ana okay anakata cash cuz the next thing is kutafuta change. Hapana I took okay sawa. In yeah. my book. Yeah, yeah, in my book the 20 the yeah. 10 bob. Mm. Lakini they say you're yeah, smart you should yeah. accept cash you know why? Yeah. <laughs> If you know you know. Yeah. Sitasema. <laughs> Naweza tafuta mzee. <laughs> well, in my book always take cash. Mm. Cash is easy to get paid for any business because Uh, it works best it works best yeah, yeah. anything else ndacha ma details hapo hivyo mtapiga tu inbox eh pia tuko hapa kuchoka lakini sasa eh ah huko na position mingi mimi hata anatani break monotony kiasi monotony broken bro what the hell happened to your hand i fell i fell up across here eh man the for real man i fell no Mina mina namsea hapa mpaka usiki unajua mazuki wanamsea kwa na bandage na don't say wama wao Bro niambie tu nani alikuwa na wao Oh you were there No I was not You were not so But I know but, but him being him Eh eh VR VR checking <laughs> checking the statement checking the statement potential violation refs play on <laughs> What? Uh, what is your version of events? My version. Yeah. This one. Where were you? You are not there, right? The house sleeping. Yes, yeah, so you don't know. But Abinel. Mhm. Burn. Oh, Mr. Burn guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mazoli burn, Mazoli. Yeah. <laughs> This man will look for war. Anytime, any Quite day. 
Askia kuna pigano wa Western he will come to that one. Mimi unajali mimi ona sasa unaona sasa mimi na see bandages on a guy. Kwanza kwa like mkono. I know maze huo ni msema ze. As in uliangoka huku gongo ple singine. Yes nilishikilia. Eh this akachuma there over there so ili nikata kiasi. So nilishikilia ngori hii. Sasa nilishikilia. Wote alu ni kanyaga hivi alafu kwa like. Ayo. <laughs> bro 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 mazel at all it's okay acha acha ni sema hata kiwa mdogo hivi alikuwa wao lakini a rooftop mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah but then the, yeah, the mind digs is fantastic <laughs> yeah, loving friend. the balcony yeah. yeah it's i know most of you guys can't tell but it's actually like a hot day but it's yeah. cloudy so it, it's pretty weird like apa hewa mazee inafika inafika mazee so ni kofiti eh so ome uza enough questions i'm not stopping you but i don't know abi wetu aswali hata mimi nitauliza swali ka kama nini clients mtu wa ngori yenu ni gani my question is mm-hmm. eh? by the time the request comes to you mm-hmm. do you have the chance of accepting it or uh, like or rejecting, uh, yeah, rejecting it mm-hmm. or if not that don't you have like the option of uh, go, like going offline when you don't want to pick a client because most other guys you find they're hanging around mm. the app is on but they're, they're not like ready to take requests Ha, huh, okay. Now that is a very interesting one. So first things first, most people doing the business, um I don't say most of them are part-timers, mm. but I feel like a large number of them are part-timers. So mm. there's a time where you actually go somewhere and you literally forget yeah. that your device was on mm. and zinakuita. Mm. So ka kwanza ka umeka silent when you sasa maze tumeambiwa na njoro njoro lakini umesema wewe si njoro wa uba. Wenye njoro ametuambia hapa oh put your devices on silent mm. nini 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 so if it might even be doing something and i don't know but most of the time i think a good number of them are part time and not part time because it's not where they are earning money mm. but like unajua pia hata ukiwa kwa uba base bado wewe ni father yeah, bado wewe yeah, ni yeah. mother you yeah, know yeah. like you say mazi lady clients i'm a lady drivers i'm really impressed but there are so many of them this side um you still have those duties to do they are devices on them but they've moved the car to do their own things mm. so there is a genuine that one is a human error so mm. for me you also take personal and uh, i would uh, wish you know you know apologies too for all of them where in the quarter to off guard mm. and then comes the one with prejudice let's say like prejudice ni kuna msi anaishi tuseme labda anaishi kitengela so kitengela maze you get a request and the guy is going to kitengela that time Mazen you see ku on a Saturday night you need to be sides of waste yeah, yeah. in those two areas mm. so maze unapata msaya na kutoa kitengela na kupeleka kisaki yo yeah you go because anafika huko ataka ni thao maze kurudi tena na chama mafuta so saingine kuna hiyo logic na well well you know it's maybe not the best practice mm. but it's where we are at mm. Kenya is not a place where it's not for the faint hearted and i always say that is the truth Kenya is not for the faint hearted mm. and actually they don't even want to say Kenya Nairobi mm. Nairobi is not for the faint hearted so kama zao na take something that happens to you so personally or so bitter is going to affect you in how you're going to move on from that so I always tell guys think of Nairobi is actually the New York of mm. Africa mm, yeah. in my book yeah. Yeah. so I mean things here move like this so quick. Yeah. like yeah. You, you can't afford a day where you just chilling, just chilling. Yeah. 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 Yeah, so part of it is a guy is making a business decision is like fine i'm getting a bold trip x amount taking me to kisaju mm. whereas i'm seeing another one even if it's less amount but that will be a, a a around the... i mean i'm gonna go to this because mm. i know from there more money nini, nini. so the end of the day i always try and tell guys don't take it personal this business it's purely business if the guy makes a business decision to decline the request fine if he takes it hears you out let's say you answer the question you go like okay nenda wapi nenda kisaji how much how much yeah. 1000 but niko na discount moyo na ile ile nini ya wale wasi wa kubeba sakafu yeah okay we're gonna cancel but unajua kuna wengine yes when you nasema but then they will accept your request and not move 
they'll keep lying wewe yeah. na kama na kuja hata niko hapo hivi napiga kona aki asongi ama they accept and they do not move for certain apps you can see where the person is going mm-hmm. and there's a high chance that where they are going is not somewhere where they want to go so, so like accept it's it's a business decision don't take it personal no mono will accept request you chukue personal mono will accept request you can't solve when delay na kuna like you just say me kishina ni kikanso this one me five times five times sayo ya siku ni le cancel thrice now i may accept two left imagine it was that not that I will cancel you five times you have another on a new request phase eh? like let's say I'm requesting right now to go to your beloved campaign skin mm. so na campaign skin ni fika ni fika ni ndio trip bado i get another five chances to cancel sikwa ni fika if you know you know anyway back to your point um in my book honestly i think it's that that what i'm talking about the business decision so alifika maybe no, sees that you're going sees the amount decides not to the second one which i had said previously na nimeombea msamaha ni wale like they're doing their own stuff and you know they're caught up and then there's the third humans are humans they're imperfect they are terrible humans out there they're very amazing humans out there but what really changes you the circumstances around their lives so it, sometimes you can find me me i'm sure kama ni moyo kubeba we sema i know i'll have guys who say i was a good uber driver and the others who say i was a shit uber driver but the truth is there are days i'm not i'm not good then someone you know tries some stuff mm. I'll, i'll be crazy yeah, yeah of course but yeah. that's my not sour no 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 it's really? don't wanna take personal yeah. it's business it's business I'm giving you the business. So no. why are you accepting no, the you're request? You're giving me the business. I'm the business. Relax. Relax. Mimi na lipa. Relax. Mimi na lipa. I'm not in heavy. Yaani, una receive ya nyingi. Um biashara ni biashara. I have the choice to accept. <laughs> Even after I accept, I still have the choice to decline. Una accept ya nini? Leave it. Same way. And now let me bring it on the other side because mm. now these are maybe guys don't know. Hata wewe mazika dero umefika place umepata request ni wewe umemvutia. Mse anafika hivi labda mazee hawakuwa walikuwa wamekosana. Bila I'm going home. Kidogo kidogo mazee wamerudiana. Eh bana msuke msuke fresh alafu sasa ndio mechi imeanza. Sasa utadu. Hata shika. Ah ah hata shika. Hata shika. Eh. Okay, wa mechi utashika simu. Eh, kana ni mbona? Hakuna important hivyo. Wewe utatuambia. Hakuna uba important hivyo. Ukihapa ndio. Wow. God. Okay. I thought I was the conservative one here, bro, like for real. Anyway. Si unaona sasa mimi ndio mhambo la ndio wa crazy. So there's no way. Na inabidi ukubali. There's nothing I can do. So the same way that on your end you get frustrated by a no pick up, no calls, no movement. Kuna venye pia kaderia nafika mahali maze. There's an issue with an accept mse ampigi. Namba hii. Eh, ama wewe umetoka Dubai. Sijuzi ulitoka Dubai sijui shopping. Sasa ume change number kwa hiyo namba ya Dubai. And you come back to Kenya you forgot and switch it. So when I go there boom, I was Alafu na kupigia in app. Now I I don't do in app calls they're unclear what what we are like. Okay. I hate in app yeah. calls. Oh my god. Yeah. Bro, in app it yeah. take five like around five seconds to 10 seconds to answer itself. Nika kupigia state oh yani unaona ile delay. Ile delay. Hello? In app. Hello. Hello me na rudi. Mimi <laughs> sasa <laughs> I'm talking I was like karibu na mast so your network is kind of faster than us guys on ground floor you know eh by the ukiwa rooftop no offense legit oh the high one in a building especially nowadays there are so many commercial buildings the high one in a building kuna more reception so utapata wasi wa ground floor Uh, second floor is gory mm. uh, so in all honesty i feel you but i want to say the foot is on the the, the shoe is on the other foot like it's the same thing we get counsel upon some call unachukua simu mtu alikuwa amelewa amezidiwa 
so I'll request maybe out of emergency, mm, like, you know. So, uh, so if you don't have, you know, maybe illness, ill business savvy, ama tech savvy, it will be very difficult to now solve that current situation. Mm. So I mean, bad things happen for you, bad things happen for us. Most important thing, you say well, one. I can't comment about such matters. Mm-hmm. Of course, with my status. With my status as a very respected. I cannot speak for the young men in society. Mm-hmm. They are still living their own lives. They are still curating their own processes. So mm-hmm. the best that I will do is, <laughs> if anyone has an experience, you can leave it in the comments. But for me, I am clean so far. Yeah. So far. Yeah, okay. Emphasis on so far. Okay. Uh, and where is that? How comes? Nivile upatangi, ama nivile unakatanga. For me, any anything you do is down to professionalism. Um, kitu ya kwanza, if, if, I mean, look, mm. saa ingegare ya lafa kwe. Like bro, man, don't be tricky. Don't be tricky. <laughs> ah no, legit. First thing, maze, you carry a flag out them. If you love your life, back it, man. Eh oh ah. Aye, na kama mi ata ukambele. Ah ah. Na kambele. Kambele when you're controlling, apano. Ninja. Tasa mano no no no. Drive from this side. Drive from ah 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 ah. No no. Actually, I actually don't do that. Legit. That I don't. But since you, you get a flag out them. Backseat. Since uku hivi mazee mko na magalde drivers, you carry a flyer sneaker, you want to do something mazee telling backseat man. Don't go do it in the backseat, I mean like tell them sit in the backseat, okay? Let's let's be clear. Na kama they really want to sit in the front. They really, kama mimi tu sana nikuji, I really, I really want to sit half of the passenger princess. You know what you do? You know what you do? You can't go. Jorono <laughs> 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 Anyway, the truth is we believe her. We really do. Yeah. We don't, but we do. But let me ask, mm. this app, not, not to mention, uh, okay, my UX UI developer, uh-huh. yes, besides the point. User interface, one of us is our UI, you know, it's not urinary infection. It's <laughs> <laughs> urinary infection, please, let's, let's be clear. Maze, I love, even before you go on, guys, did you see the video of the lady in the lift. Oh yeah! Oh my what god! Tell me, tell Yo. me. You haven't seen it. Did you see it? Did you see it? Did you see it? Did you see it? What? Joro, I don't know if you see it, but I don't know. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Guys, okay, okay. <laughs> Ah we wala sasa mtumie njoro inbox muifuatanishe na Mpesa tufikisha iPhone anataka iPhone 14. Eh mm. uh, maze okay you know sometimes we can talk about business and forget about humanity but uh, ladies I have had stories okay I'm going to tell you I've had stories about um, guys ladies mm. no 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 okay I'll be honest as niggas it's like you know we are kind of trained Yeah. They're like dogs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know they call us dogs, so we gotta be like dogs. Yeah. So when they call us dogs, maze. So you know we'll find a bush, we'll find a wall. Sometimes even yeah. our own cars. We are crazy, yeah. but generally dudes are kind of okay with playing yeah. themselves. Yeah. In the open. So the video I'm talking about 
is one I was sent to and I was like, yo, bro, I saw a lady in a lift, so I was kind of worried it could have been like a murder video or something. But girl then just squats in the lift and, you know, releases everything. Uh, number two. Everything. Like one and two, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was one, one and two, and two. Yeah. She's peeing and pooping on the floor. Yeah. What? Why? So I've heard stories about ladies relieving themselves in lifts and uh, these kinds of places. Honestly, I have always thought it's crap because mm. for me, maybe I'm fortunate to know the ladies I do. Mm. They can stop you in the middle of the highway, petrol station, whatever, like they find a place. We you know? really got that wrong. Uh, nah, we, for real. We had that wrong. Yeah. So, so privileged to, to know the ladies. Do. Do. No. Okay. Oh, so nice to meet you. We bro. got it. We got it so wrong. So nice to meet you. And, uh, <laughs> So I don't know. <laughs> anyway, Maze, so I've always heard the stories, but I didn't know they were true until I saw this video. And once the video came out, everyone is like, "What ladies do this?" I'm like, "Yo, bro, dudes are the ones, and we wouldn't do it in a lift, to be honest." Yeah, oh, yeah. You find your backyard, Maze. Suddenly the Daniels have turned yellow. You know why? You know, yeah. Maze, hey, Maze, <laughs> hey, I'm a wife. <laughs> in the lift like i was like man uh, so i don't know like is, is is it a thing like is it i don't know the exciting like, if you wanna, you wanna go you wanna go what the issue man i cannot talk, i cannot speak you can't them. speak for them because that me i'm as shocked as you are i i, I, I honestly it blew my mind like I don't know. You know she even went ahead and started smelling her fingers, yes. like you know. That I was just like, yo, man. <laughs> 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 Apple to me in this video. I'm working at a video. Apple is over. Disclaimer. Yeah, not to watch your anger. Yeah, watch your what we are talking about. Me na ona isiye kwa jima. Hata YouTube ni zatu arrest. But it's a trend. No, but it's crazy. Like I, I, I didn't know it's true bad. until you know it. it uh, and then there's a guy now who the guy I think the security guard whoever. Now came and took the photo of, of the result and well I didn't see that I didn't even finish. You, I was like, don't. Oh my God. I, no, for me what I thought this lady was gonna be killed. Like I'm 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 sorry. Oh, yeah. I love watching for a moment. So I was very much sorry gonna kill her. Yeah. So Kidoki Dogo Maze she squats and you know let let her stuff go. Then she's smelling, then she walks out of the lift like classy as hell. You know she took like the topmost floor. But did she, did she take it intentionally? No, 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 it wasn't intentional. I think it just went. Then wow. I think that was like the moment she got into the lift, she was just ready. She knew what she was, she was going to do. That was so wrong. That was that was that was mad, man. So anyway, gardens tell me. I don't, okay, you can tell them in the comments. Um, I don't know. I don't know if it really happens. Again, like I said, it's stories I've had. So it's not like I can substantiate them. This is the first substantiation. But for dudes, I mean, any day on a night out, just go outside on the wall. Yeah. We've done it longer, so we have more decency about it. I don't know. You know how that was crazy. Keep it in until when you're ready. That was crazy. And anyway, I interrupted your question. So there's this app. Cab, eh? yeah, this mm-hmm. app. Uh, Online X, cab. Eh? Uh, so it has a tendency of hanging. Mostly on the driver's side. I don't know why. In my situation, it has ever happened once, but at least I, I wasn't charged for it. But now on the second uh, second instance, I was charged a fee of around 2,500 from a trip of like 450 thereabouts. So I don't know why uh, this app, since it hung mm-hmm. for let's say like three, four hours, it had to charge me 2,500. And the guy, after then calling the guy, and I actually had paid the guy earlier because mm. I knew how much it was. So even after paying the guy, still the guy goes ahead and either complains or sa- says something that I didn't pay or something. Mm. And now I had actually to uninstall this specific app. I no longer use it because now they refuse to like lift the, the cabana. Uh, no. Okay. First and foremost, I think uh, there are no company issues and so forth with mentioning that because it is your experience so yeah. if if it is within your range i think you can reveal the name it's not mm. an issue because yes. your experience yako so experience mm. yako says it's a high count do mm. your app 
Mm. Either, either. It was an Uber, Uber, Uber. Because yeah, okay. and, and I've had this before with a lot of Uber drivers. Mm. They tell me, hey, Manzo, when you're using Uber app, you need to be careful. So even before they leave here, mm. they ask you how much it was, so ma- so that by the time they figure that, make the location, mm. already they have a rough idea how much it should have come. You know, like, ah, you know, okay. so if just in case if it hangs or it just goes off, at least they have you know they get their money and they're okay okay so the first things first is i always say these apps are only connectors between me and mm, you mm. so i'll use you guys mm. as the clients but me i'm the driver but the connector is the app mm. so the reason why i really struggle with guys saying i had a bad driver or driver saying they had a bad client yes the individual matters but eventually what connects us is the app. Mm. So if the apps did their due diligence on X, Y, and Z, I believe we'd have less and less of these issues because again, as I've said, the human, yeah. human issues. Yeah. So ata ukiwa kwa kanisa, kuna wasi wanaiba offering. Yeah. Ata in, in hell, I'm sure there's an angel in there. Mm. Okay, even the king of hell. I mean, the king of hell is an angel. angel. So that's what I'm trying to say, guys. Like, um, as much as we hear stories of, oh, I don't say the app name because then mm. it will become an issue. Oh, this app is bad. Oh, that app is bad. Oh, this app is better. This app is good. So it's all subjective because you'll find a bad client on one app and a good client on the same app. Mm. Same, you'll find a good drive on one app and a good uh, and a bad drive on the same app. So yako honestly ni Ajani sema ni ukora ki design kwa sababu ka umeshalipa it shouldn't be an issue. But sometimes there's the way guys either do feedback to the com- to the app company and the app will then do their idea of investigation because really how can I investigate that she paid me? Yeah, and they are an not there, yeah, yeah. And they love to ask her, yo, did you send money? Mm. And then Safcom will go like, oh, reverse the transaction. And then they're like, but the two phones were so close together. Mm. So that means that they knew each other. So there's a lot of things that are variables. But at the end of the day, the feedback kuna pair up sometimes can carry the day. Mm. So in your case, I think maybe there was feedback that was sent to the app and something happened, which was unfortunate for you. I know someone personally who has the same issue with the app, uh, the same app, sadly Uber, mm. and it's a payment issue. So, yeah. so far what I'm realizing, even as we just done our small discussion and uh, there was a forum that we were in recently. It had dropped soon. It our pair heads up. Um, mm. Generally, in Uber, what you'll hear is the issue is payments. So it's someone puked in my car, they need to pay for car wash. Yeah. The guy paid less or the guy paid more. Oh, yeah. It's always a money issue. With Bolt, it's a behavior issue. Yeah, yeah. So Bolt was like, oh, I was like, I was like, I was wrong route, mm. bad customer experience. So... In there, we have something called the truth, because the truth is only a small, a small parcel in that story. The rest is what she said, mm, that's what you said. said yeah. Yeah, so assuming she's the driver, now that because <laughs> the <already laughs> driver's <laughs> equal, now your client. So depending on how that conversation went, it, it could go either way. But uh, for me personally, and this is a personal opinion, it's not marketing, it's not nothing. For me, I'll always market for little cab. Mm. Little yeah. Cab is a local company. Mm. They did have some links to Safaricom when you an Joizo story and as an Ichanua Staki Kusemasana. But if you know the full story, I think you do. But generally, Little Cab is the app I'll advocate for because as a driver, I've never had a bad experience with Little Cab. Mm. If you've had a bad experience, say. And also, I'm pretty sure my clients have never had a bad experience mm. with Little I haven't. Little mm. Cab is. Uh, pretty specific about how they operate. Yeah. Uh, beyond that, na indio inakwanga issue between everything else. Little Cab is currently paying the best in the market. Mm, yeah. So what happens is, as much as for the client, you'll feel it's a bit pricey. On the driver's end, he feels mm. this is my due pay, mm. and then at that level, you're both kind of satisfied. Yeah. So walking your guy, you kind of secure. I'm like, yeah, I'm paying a lot of money, but. Mm. I'm okay, I better. can get home safe. And yeah. the driver is like, I'll do my mm. best to keep this client. Mm. So in my experience, Little Cab has been the best. Yeah, I've not had issues. I've, I've been good. They pay well. So 
it's all about money and that's what i'm trying to say guys it's business mm. so little cup maybe because they are kenyan that's why they get our situation better mm. i don't know but um i still say the other local apps there's yego and there's for us for us i'll say I don't know much about it yet because I've been taking as many tricks. Oh. Uh, but you know, it's mm. very hard to change from. I always say never change a winning team. Yeah, of course. Little Cub is winning. Is for winning, me. so so I'm never gonna change it, that. Yeah. I'll go with it until the the horse runs dry. Mm. So so far so good. Me me got two feet in a Little Cub. Na Sijek wana bad experience sir. Actually, in mm. coast, Little Cub works best at yes. night. Yes. Yeah. It's, yes. It, actually, mm. if you order for a bolt in coast at night mm. you won't get unless you use little cab yes yeah so little cab was on mombasa maze mtuambie bana mshatueleza bana mshatueleza bani ukweli little cab little cab is is the best that we can use another local app i know but that's now nakuru and dorot wasili 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 works the best so wasili also is another local app so my push generally is local apps mm. and with the local apps i know we can have a direct conversation about you guys mm. the prices are gonna mm. pop, you know cushion us a mm, bit at know? least yeah. yeah you know so the preconceived notions are by the app and them not doing enough to make sure this thing is satisfactory for the drivers and the customers so they end up preferring of course the customers as Unajua Kenya tunasema although it's worldwide but in Kenya it's more so the customer mm-hmm. is always right. right so even if an accusation is made it's it the guy is in trouble. If you remember the video of the guy who was recording the lady in Rwai. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. If that guy did not record that video mm-hmm. I swear to god he was dead yeah, right now. That's yeah. him. That's him. Cuz the lady has clearly said she's going to slander his name. She's going to damage his career, mm. and he's just a humble guy. And even I think it was the mom yeah, who I called think. him and told him, "Bring her home, mm. no matter what she says, bring her home." But then the guy is like, "Like, why are you insulting me? Why are you saying this? Mm. Why are you giving false allegations?" Mm. So the lady in that scenario, um, from what we saw, anyway, mm. maybe we don't have the full details, but from mm. what we saw, she was willing to. Soil his name. Yeah, simply this, because they know the, the customer is right. Yeah, and if that was reported on the other side, the guy would be in jail. Yeah, so if he didn't record mm. that, I mean, one him said you go to na tembelea committee ama siju wapi tunasema oh bro mazishi kama kate. Unajua. So in my book, the first phase that we can do especially as I'm a huge pan African, not because Africa is, uh, is you know, we are not perfect. We have our dictators. Mm. We have the corruption and so forth, but it's everywhere else. So why not build each other? Not fikir mali and yet neza jitegemea. We don't have to keep waiting for certain other countries to come and make us fight for this and that, you know. Okay, now. Mm-hmm. Yangu acha nataka ku address e case ya insecurity. Yes. Hizi vitu za kidnapping. Sijui driver sijui alipeleka mtu wapi. What is all that though? Actually hata kuna ile also on the on the same point. Mm. Uh guys sell their apps like ah. or two days or or a weekend, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe they have gone a certain place or me or me they're Rab- giving mm. out yeah, yeah. Mm. so as in, I think that's a major factor. Okay, with the security um I always say there's two levels of security. The security for women and security for men. Why is this true? It's true because um, the danger that ladies are exposed to is very different from the dangers that men are exposed to. Mm-hmm. Mostly men will be exposed to physical danger, so it's loss of property, loss of, you know, like money, these kind of things. Mm-hmm. But for ladies there is far greater um, risks to them. And that's why the scales yeah, change. Yeah. So in the case of the guy for Roy, I'm sorry, I really wish I remember his name, but uh, please feel like we have had your point. The guy for Roy, if he did not record that thing, he was done. Like forever, he was done. So with ladies, there is the, how do you call it, the dignity and the sanctity. Case in point, the Ndudi guys who harassed the UN, the yeah, diplomats, yeah, yeah. 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 uh, Forest Road. So the lad- the lady is exposed to far more danger. So in any case I always tell any of my lady friends if you take the Uber share the details and share the trick. 
beyond that there's not much you can do because if i'm following your trip then i pretty much know where you are in case of anything i go there is emergency buttons on both sides i think have you seen on the upside yeah, it's an emergency yeah. button. Yeah. So for the driver, there is an emergency button. So in case mini patwe na majamba zia pa nyuma na try kuninyonga nini nini, kuna ila SOS button. Itafinya uba inaitwa or bolt inaitwa SOS uba inaitwa uh, there's a cash shield at the top. So just touch that shield, then you'll be able to access the security features, and little has it as well as well. So yeah, go um, for us. I'm yet to see the feature, but I believe they're there because now it's kind of like a requirement. Um, but those ones I can say with absolute certainty because I use them all the time. So there's 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 a there's a that feature for the driver. Now for the passenger as well, it's there. Beyond sharing the trip, you have a danger button like a so, so Mr. Kai. Yes, sir. Are you in a relationship? My friend, I was born in a relationship. <laughs> Relationship hey. was very complicated. First, I was born to a family of girls only. My friend, yeah. my relationship status was finished very early. After a day, we talk. We're not going to be single. We're going to be my guys. It's like around six women who, at any time, they'll call and I have to answer. And you know, anyway, uh, I'm a proud only brother mm. to three sisters. Then there's my mom as well. So, you know, we're fortunate to interact with my girl, them, Sana. Um, so that's I'm, I'm in when I speak in my experience. Maybe I'm biased. Eh? So when I speak in my experience, I'm expecting ladies to be far better at treating people than mm, the men. Guys, yeah. Because men, we have that competitive edge. We want to, you know, make money, get rich. I want to step on you before you step on me, that kind of thing. So I always thought that lady drivers would be better. Mm. So I'm sorry for experience, but... Lady drivers in town, yeah. Now I'm going to Sana. Now I'm going to Uber crew up or to come. Anyway, um, yeah. So I think that really decided how how I interact with women through my life, mm. and I'm lucky enough to have somebody that I call my beloved. Um, we met in 2010, mm-hmm. and we met in war. Because men, we hated each other like, why? Like mad. We hated each other because we were different. We're just two different individual human mm-hmm. beings. Um, she's from a family of brothers. I'm, a fam- I'm from a family of wow. sisters. So you know, like already the dynamic was off. Then mm-hmm. we met at work. Definitely, it was it was a a, a very fractious relationship as individuals, but on the professional level. It was quite decent, quite amazing, and uh, little did I know, little did mm. I know. At the time, we were both in relationships, mm. um, but of course, as you continued sharing, you know, sometimes when you're sharing, when you're in a secure relationship, you share without filters. Mm. So when you share without filters, there are things you'll say that the other person will go like, Come yo, bro, that's, that's crazy. That's okay. And then this thing mm. she'd say, I'm like, yo. That's crazy. Mm. So yeah, definitely we had our own people at the time, and we called each other out like, "Why are you accepting this? Why are you allowing that?" And of course, at the time we think we were trying to judge my relationship. I'm trying to judge hers. So mm. we were fucking fighting all the time. But people would find us talk every single minute. So they assumed yeah. that something was happening, but nothing was really happening. We hated mm. each other, and we called each other out on everything. So. That was the basis of the relationship. Mm. And then, you know, the significant others are like, yo, you guy, you keep talking to this chick. Yo, you mm. chick, you keep talking to this nigga. See, it kind That's of good, became yeah. an issue. But it was never an issue for us mm. because we were simply, like, mm. on a professional level, we were attacking each other, be better, grow, you know, do more. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, we lost touch proper touch like for a whole year cold silence mm. then um, a stroke of fortune happened that one of our friends spoke at a function and the numbers changed mm. so neither of us was there like together but the number changed so that friend gave her my number i and they gave you know me her number mm. then we ended up conversing and at the time you know she was 
uh, how do you call it uh, available mm, you continue uh, then also my relationship was at an end so we were kind of pissed off so we just used to go and just have fun mm. go home but mm. uh, at the end of the day there was huge respect huge respect between each other and i mean i can't believe it that from that time to here she's uh, one of my greatest friends one of my biggest critics but at the same time one of my biggest supporters so it's crazy i really can't actually like i think this is when i'm reflecting about it we've come a long way we've come a long way but um, i'm grateful i got the best possible partner in life hmm. um, yeah the best one we don't trade half for anyone nothing nothing i mean I are you saying say, this because no i'm not saying it on... absolutely actually i didn't even know that this would come yo 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 Yeah. Anyway, so yeah like i really i really it's it's hard to recount that because it's been quite a while mm. so we were definitely enemies then became friends and then lovers and now married wow i, I actually don't remember that yeah so um the truth is guys in life wanna pitia eh Oh, yeah. fuck me, man. <laughs> oh, shit. No, no, you have to cut that out. <laughs> like, uh, the truth is, we've gone through so much and through so much pain individually that by the time we met, now the second time, and the friend traded mm. the numbers, when we met, we were willing to be bare mm. about each other. So, We didn't, we didn't, you know, I didn't try to say I'm the richest nigga on earth. She didn't try to say, you know, she's, you know, the most innocent lady on earth. And it, it grew from there. Wow. Like, for real. Actually, I've never recounted this. Legit. Yeah. So, from that point, we just decided, you know what? We'll play 100, play the truth. And it's been one of the foundations because, Wow. A long time, mm. thirteen years, man. But legit, we've been married since 2018, April. Now she says 19. Mm. Ni- no, no, no. She says 14. I say 13 because we had two functions. The two functions. Oh, yeah, the, the one at um, the place. Yeah, because we, with the um, she's from a different tribe and mm. from a different tribe, so the insistence from the two negotiating mm. parties was. We have to honor both cultures. Mm. So on Friday, we honored the Kikuyu culture, and we did what they call, what we call rodashio. Mm. And then on Saturday, we did the Kamba culture, mm. which was Andeo. Mm. And uh, ever since we've had fights, like genuine fights about which is your day, which is my day. day. Yeah. So. To her, her day is my day, mm. but to, to me, uh, uh, my day is her day. So mm. like, we'll never agree. Mm. So we'll just agree. Thirteen, fourteen, whatever they meet. Fine. That's it. April thirteen, fourteen, twenty eighteen. Wow. Um. Yeah. And ever since, it's been a learning curve. Most guys think that like when you get married, like life mm. comes like roses mm. ring out of people's bums, but no, <laughs> it's 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 hard work. It's tough. You get all the challenges, all the people who wanted to see you, you know, like mm. it doesn't go the right way, they'll be there. So we are grateful that we've been able to overcome those and start developing ourselves and growing ourselves. And God give me life, man. I ex- expect that for the next hundred years. Mm. Yeah, yeah so it all cool. goes well. So, wow, man. Now let me ask yeah. you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, now, how does your woman take the fact that you work at night number one yo it was a fight like 
it was a fight, man. Is she okay with it, to begin with? To be honest, she's not. Oh my God, that has to... To be honest, she's not, but uh, we had the discussion eh? because um, at the end of the day, we are, we are fighting for our people. Yeah. So our people is our families, the family, yeah. our generations and the generations mm. to come. So we are fighting for our people. So if we don't make the best decision for our people, then we're betraying ourselves. Mm. So during the day, I mean, this is me. I'm going to work at night, mm. but this is me here during the day. So I'm able to maybe talk to a few people, get my voice out, speak about a few apps, talk about mm. the marriage institution. It works and it's out there and it's working, but mm. sometimes you're not able to do all these things in one day. Okay. So during COVID is when we had a breakthrough in that scenario because mm. um, during COVID, a large number of my clients were people with curfew letters. Mm. So during the curfew, you know, for Dubai mm. guys, yeah. Dubai guys, <laughs> what happened is during the curfew, if you were caught out without the letters, without the papers, unalalandani. Nakao mm. lalandani unalala kwa quarantine center. Mm. And you have to pay for that for yourself. Mm. So really, everyone stopped moving. Mm. No going to hotels, watu waku fanya mambo kwa hoteli. Mm. There was no going to Airbnbs, there was no going to this and that. So guys were locked in. So for me personally, as a businessman, in terms of the Uber side of it, it became very difficult. No one is moving. So the only people I was taking to job, you know, is guys I'm taking to the office and then bring them back home from the office. So you only have two clients a day. That wouldn't be enough to sustain mm. any family, let alone two grown adults mm. and you know our families and our dependents. So mm. it was a it was a difficult period. But I'm grateful because in that moment um, we were able to like sit down and go like okay. So this is the situation. Mm, if life mm. continued as COVID times were, mm-hmm. can we make this work? And yeah. it wasn't enough. Yeah. So I switched to night. I had the letters from Little Cub. I was a big up for that. Essential letters. And we were able to take clients in the middle of the night to even a version of COVID. You know, going through roadblocks. Mm. So as long as you had the letters, you're safe. But if you didn't have the letters, man, you're in trouble. And at that time, you know, a bit of, you know, you're getting a bit of money here and there. The insurance, you know, is working either way, mm. this, that. So things were good. Uh, and that is during COVID when everyone is saying they don't have, you know, food and this money and, that. and all that. Yeah, time. but before we figured it out, of course, we were struggling. But once mm. we figured it out, it was almost a year into COVID. And things went okay. So ever since, it's worked for us. She's also a business lady. What does she do? Marry. Don't what? call me Thanos. <laughs> but I'm the Lord of the Rings. <laughs> First, that's a bad joke. It's a bad joke. I'm sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. Uh, she's a jeweler. What's her company? Um, it's called Made by Cubs. Instagram, all of Instagram. Made underscore by underscore Cubs. So, she does jewelry. Not just rings, you know. She's done... This is my oldest piece of jewelry. They call it the Joker. Mm, from the Beloved. Be- be- uh, be- 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 and she's my Harley Quinn. Because hey. yeah, they're crazy like that, man, you know? Okay, okay you said so about doing things. Now, yes, let yes. me ask. Uh, <laughs> how does... <laughs> I, I think she asked the question even before you do it. How, how does that, that work out? out? Since you're a, more of a night person and she's a daytime kind of person, how do we um, spend time, time together work? We found out that it creates the perfect balance for us because um, when I'm night, I come home during the day, mm-hmm. and if she's day, then she'll be leaving at some point in the day. So when I come home, then we get to spend time. What time? Maybe yeah. from like thirty minutes. Not that, not, not that means, bro. Okay. It's never enough. Bro. Okay, okay. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> because her day generally will start with the inquiries on Instagram and Twitter mm. and whatever. So that time is when we spend a lot of time together. Mm. And then once she's done with all her stuff, we've done our stuff, then she gets to go and leave. So in in my book, it's added a lot of because 
you see what most couples don't realize is the times that they spend together are almost ordained by the sun mm. so the sun is up we are separate yeah. the sun goes down we are together yeah, back so together. unless it's a vacation it's very difficult yeah. to end up having the time together so mm. we are fortunate that we get to choose when we spend time and we get to you know cancel our schedules do whatever it needs mm. so we have heard how you are an awesome uh logistics personnel and we love your uh your experiences yeah we'd love to have you again by the way yeah uh partnerships from you uh first and foremost anytime any day simply because of my line of work we've dealt with a lot of people from exporters to celebs to locals to tourists mm. so I've, I've had to deal with the whole shebang mm -hmm. and luckily actually my first job when i left college was actually a call center guy so i did call centers i've dealt with clients at that level and that kind of inspired me to then deal with clients on another level so my next line of business was actually an it firm then i worked a bit for an arm of the government then after the arm of government i got into private sector and after private sector i got into insurance like mm. financial uh, literacy and these mm. kind of things so we've had the whole spectrum of customer interaction customer satisfaction and it's it's been an amazing journey a very humbling journey for a guy who's like i personally said i'm shy for a guy who's shy to then get to uh make other people speak make other people mm. share their experiences and say what they want and what they need that was one of my biggest challenges because mm. i find it very difficult to talk with someone directly or stop in front of people mm. but it has really taught me a lot over a period of time um that said definitely like i said i'd love to be back on the show all the questions you guys have about you guys have about um, Uber, Bolt, whatever, all those companies. I'd want to hear those questions. I'm going to answer them personally, and I hope I can get a lady driver. Sadly, our two hosts have had lady drivers and bad experiences with them. So I'd want to get a lady driver. I'd want to get a male driver. Then we answer all the questions the guys have sent in after that we talk about the scenario in terms of fuel and this and that as one of our government officials said uh, that's moses Korea. he said he's expecting prices to keep climbing up yeah. to february mm. coming into 260 mm -hmm. shillings so already 211 is, is mind-blowing yeah. so can you imagine what happens when it gets to 260 yes. So I expect more negative stories and this and that about mm. it, but it comes with the territory. Yeah. So all that aside, uh, big up. Thank you so much for having me. Um, I'm actually looking forward to the next interaction because I know the questions these guys will ask and the feelings they have about Ubers and this and that. So I want to hear those questions. Don't be shy. Say the truth. Sometimes social media makes guys say crazy mm. stories that don't exist. But sometimes say the truth, give us what you need, even if it's embarrassing, even if it's, you know, something that made you so angry, share them. You'll be able to answer them. And I'll for sure have a lady Uber driver to assist me with that. Mm. Um, logistics, MC, all that. I appreciate all the inquiries. I'll hit you back up. But the truth is, all I am is supporting for, let's support each other, local apps, local businesses, local hustle. Mm. Sisi to Jengane Apa within, to Kijengana within, then there's nothing that can destroy us from outside. Mm. So that's my mantra, that's what I believe, and thanks for having me. So, Ban, on the way. This is Mindful Moments Podcast, with myself, I'm Boyotende, but Mindful Moments Podcast on Instagram. Facebook. Do you have Facebook and Twitter? TikTok. <laughs> and TikTok and YouTube too. So follow us on all social media platforms. You can comment, you can engage us. Uh, yeah. Till next time from me. Bye.
to say let's do this each uh guest we have they deserve a bottle yeah. <laughs> do not say i never fought for your rights ah baby girl ah bado tujafanya mzuri no 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 yo you got to show the name magobi magobi i in media <laughs> guys never say that your relatives from you know dubai qatar they don't do nothing for you no no proof proof of that proof of that once you go black <laughs> no bag ah mandem cheers man there guys um to the next one we yeah, are we out Thank <laughs> you.